Hello all. In this video, we're going to see another data type, which are list. So these are the list of operation associated with list. First, I'm going with append. This functional method will add an element to the very end of the list. That is here after this index. Here I want to add nine. Print my list one here. So if I run this, you can see nine is added. Similarly, you can add it n number of times. So if you want to add nine again there to make another append function, so here you can see the 9 is added to the very last corner of the list. So if you want to remove an element from the last index, just you have to give list.pop. And if you don't pass the index, it will just pop the last element. Now you can see the last 9 was popped out. If you do it again, it will get our original list. Here you can see this is our original list. And these two 9s which were appended earlier just popped out. So if you want to see what item it was popped recently, you can assign it to a variable. So if you run this, you can get the popped out element as 9. This is the pop function you are passing without an index. So if you call the pop function with an index, I mean I want to remove 4 here. So index of 4 is 4. So if I run this, the popped out element will be 4, not 9. Similarly, you can pop any value using the index. Another thing is you can sort the value stored in the list. For example, if you want to sort uh, list 1, so if you run this, you can see it is sorted in ascending order. When you just pass it, you will get the list sorted in the ascending order. And previously, I have assigned this list to variable pop, but uh, you can see the result as none. If you check the type of pop, which will be none type. So you can't uh, get the value in list one dot sort. It will directly sort the list. So it is not meaningful to store it in a variable. So like string reversal, we can also reverse the value in the list. For that, you have, you have to just give list one dot reverse. So in case if you want to reverse a list, just give list list one dot reverse then run it you can see your list is completely reversed minus 6 minus 5 it's not in descending order it's just reversed now also another important thing is you can just like string we can also check the length of our list which we can use the command not length len if you want to print it you can add it here and click run you can see the list has 13 elements so that is true if you want to print the length of list 2 so that is only 3 so that's it for the list tutorial so thanks for watching we'll meet in the next lecture